Picture it, your application creates data and then the application quits. What happens to all of your data? Uh-oh. This is why data persistence matters. Welcome back to our channel, I'm Megan from MongoDB. What is data persistence exactly? Well, it's the longevity of data after the application that has created it has closed. When data is persisted, it can be retrieved by the application once it's opened again, and nothing will be lost in between sessions. In order for persistence to happen, the data has to be written to non-volatile storage. This is a type of memory that can retain information long term. Let's talk more about how exactly you persist your data. An important distinction that we want to make is the difference between local storage versus remote storage. This is the difference between saving a file to your personal computer versus saving it to the cloud where you can access it anywhere. Your computer is local, but the cloud is remote. In a conversation about data persistence, we also want to talk about persisting data at the user level versus the application level. Saving a file to your computer is an example of persisting data at the user level. Only you can access that file. However, if you were to leave a comment on a YouTube video, anybody can see and interact with that comment because it's persisted at the application level. Data persistence is important for a few key reasons. First of all, it helps to keep your data safe. Second, it improves the user experience a ton. Persistence is the reason why, as an example, a user can start to fill out a form with information like their name and email address, leave the form, and come back to find that the work that they already did is still there. Without data persistence, they'd have to start over from the beginning. There are all sorts of solutions to data persistence, and it really just depends on your specific use case. From relational databases to object-based databases to document databases like MongoDB, the world of data persistence is waiting for you. That'll do it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video. If you have any questions, just drop them in a comment and we'll see you next time.